Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here with a quick review of the Giddy Up uh, Indoor Outdoor XL version 2 or V2 seat, bike seat. This seat right here is uh, pretty cool. It's very large. It has memory foam material built into it. I could tell right away when I opened it up that it was going to be really comfortable. Um, it comes with a cover, which is cool when it's raining out. And also, probably if you're riding indoors, you're using it on like an, an inside a stationary bike, keep sweat off of it. The reflective thing, uh, reflective band is for like your leg or something to wrap around your leg. It has Velcro, so cars can see better. First thing you start off with taking the seat off is a universal adapter. The way this one is, is basically you just take off the top, the top parts. You're going to transfer them from one seat to the next seat. Not a big deal. My old seat, which was an aftermarket seat, is uh, pretty comfortable itself, but I could tell this this one was actually going to be more comfortable and it was wider. It was a lot better form factor with the Giddy Up um, seat, actually. And the Giddy Up seat uh, also felt more, uh, it felt a little bit better built than the old one. And uh, the the donor bike we're using, we're actually installing this on, is a Rad Power Rad Mini version two. Ours is known nowadays as the Rad Expand. Um, so this is one of my favorite e-bikes. So it's it's one of my most comfortable e-bikes too. Rad Power makes some excellent e-bikes. So I said let's try the more comfortable seat on actually on the Rad um, Rad Power e-bike. And like you can see, it actually you know. Doing this, and I really didn't even look at the instructions to be honest with you. Uh, it just takes a minute to do it if you're not taking uh, bike seats off all the time. But I've done it a couple times, so once I got the flow going, it took me less than 30 minutes to install this. I would say max maybe 15 minutes is what it actually probably took me while trying to record it and get it right for you guys and everything else. Uh, do not tighten, over tighten this to start with because you can move this, uh, the bike stem back and forth to make it go up and down. So when I put it together, uh, I could see that it was pointing too far down for how I like it. I like it a little bit higher. So I ended up taking it back off real quick, loosened it up some more. And see, as you can see, you can move the stem back and forth and then tighten it down to where I liked it and put it back on. Now, like I said, this bike, and if you see any dirt on it, like dust on it, it's, because it's from touching the, the bike stem, which had metal abrasions on it, uh, you know, from the bike stem going up, it has a little metal flake. So when I touched the seat, it'd get it dirty and stuff. So it didn't come like that. So once I got done, I wiped it off and everything. And as you see, put it in, tighten it up. As you can see, it looks pretty good on the Rad Power. And this is my comfortable e-bike. Uh, Rad Power, the Rad Power e-bike is probably one of my... The, my favorite e-bikes that I actually have, Rad Power makes some really good products. It was a fitting for this to go on here. There you can see me putting the cover on. This is great as if it's raining out or you're using this inside with your stationary exercise bike. You can see, put it away. So let's sit on it. You can see it gives, it's got a good soft cushion on it. Uh, some spring to it too. It feels really sturdy to be honest with you, but the form factor of it, how it hugs you to say it hugs you. Uh, felt really good on this actual e-bike and I was like oh yeah I could take this like taking the rad power e-bike on a trip with this seat it has front shocks and how the rad power bike rides this is definitely uh, going to make this a much more ple pleasurable ride when I'm, I have this bike out too and there's the size comparison the new seat by giddy up is wider than my old seat also by the way so i hope that uh provides some information on that so we're going to look at that as you can see as i go over the bumps right there going off my driveway the seat does have give because it has springs in it beyond the memory foam material that it's made of going off the bumps was no issue it was like i said it's very form fitting so i believe this is a great seat for men and women uh, to be honest with you um, would you put it on like a road bike? No, because it's not really, that's not what you get those type of road bikes where you're riding 40 miles. Um, you wouldn't likely get a seat like this. Now, would you put it on a cruiser? Yes, you would. Would you put it on an e-bike? Most definitely. I highly recommend the seat for e-bike riders, uh, because it, you, you can go a long distance on an e-bike as anybody knows who has an actual e-bike 
once you start going over 30, 40, sometimes 50 miles or more, your, your behinds, your butt starts feeling it. So as I said, uh, this seat is definitely a perfect match for different types of e-bikes. You can see my links in the description. I give this a thumbs up uh, in comparison to my other aftermarket seat. I think this is a much better seat. I think the build quality is better. The memory foam, foam makes a big difference. The springs. And I think even more important than that is just the width of it and the wideness of it really helps this seat in regards to how it forms around your backside and is totally comfortable when you're riding it. So I can't wait to take this on long distance rides. I think this would do really well. I'm actually going camping. So I will be having this actual seat on this e-bike when I go camping to ride out at the uh, campgrounds that I'm going to be at. I'm actually really excited. Uh, anyone, especially if anyone with back problems and things like that, this is a good seat for like back problems and things because it has give, but it has good for form to it. Any type of hip issues, this is going to help too. Anyway, this is Frugal Panda. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Amazon links in the description. This is the Giddy Up Indoor Outdoor V2 uh, bike seat. Anyway, it took me 15 minutes to put it on. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this helps someone out there. This is Frugal Panda out. Everyone get outside, have some fun. Summer is on upon us. Have a good day, everyone.